All right, back at the practice here for this extreme metal course. I will be going out to New York to record at the beginning of October. And I have one more example mixing up 16th notes, gallop, and reverse gallop rhythms. I looked at it earlier today and I questioned how much I liked the sound of it. So let's see what happens after I get it going fast. Like maybe maybe that will remind me as to why I wrote this. So here we go. Practice. Metronome. 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 I might need to break this up into smaller pieces because I keep screwing up near the end there. Alright, so uh maybe let's do that. up a bit. Yeah, let, uh, let me try something here. So I would like that to be clearer, cleaned up. Perhaps this will be... Now one thing I do plan on letting Troy direct me with is uh, if something sounds like I'm trying to play it too fast for cleanliness sake and just to make the finished product sound as good as possible. If he wants me to play anything slower than what I originally intended, I'll be like, you got it. You're the boss. You're the director. Tell me how you want it, sir. You want me to slow it down? All right, let's slow it down. That still sounds good enough. 10 BPM, sir. All right, you got it. You know, when I was writing this stuff, a lot of it was just, uh, what sounds really good? I really wasn't keeping into account, like, how playable is this? Well, it'll definitely give everyone uh, who wants to do this course quite a challenge. There's plenty of really difficult stuff in here. Hmm. How can I streamline this? <laughs> the whole thing I can make it sound more precise that way so let's do that that sound good sounds good to me and you could argue it sounds even more metal what about that part when you do that part I got a little dynamic without it there <laughs> Sure, let's leave that part not palm muted. Let's palm mute the rest. 
I think that adds some much needed clarity to the notes. Palm muting to add clarity? What? <laughs> Much better. Much better. <laughs> I got the last thing up to speed that I needed to work up. What I need to do now is go back through the most difficult stuff. Most difficult stuff I had marked off. See, can I still do it? Do I need to work those up still? The other stuff that I needed to work up originally that was not marked as extremely difficult. And then run through everything again. And then I have three etudes to learn, one of which I need to re-record in standard tuning. Because all the material is being taught in standard tuning. However, the death metal etude for this is in baritone. So we'll do a standard tuning version as well. It just won't sound as brutal. But all the fret placements will be the same. It will just be... One-fourth higher. Really? I marked that one as extra hard? Well, maybe when I play it up to speed, I'll remember why. But so far, like, really? Or maybe it's just easier for me now. <laughs> It's because of that crazy shit at the end. That's why I had to work that up. Okay. Like, yeah, that's that's t pretty tough at that pace. That's a good sign. Basically able to nail it the first try. Good. Very good. <laughs> Good. It's sticking. It's sticking. All right, next one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Looking at this, just gave me a little bit of fear. Like, oh yeah, this one. Oh lord. Ah, oh, not there. There. There we go. Alright, it didn't take too long. It was less than five minutes. That's, that's a good sign. That one fucks up my bicep. And apparently that also made my shoulders start to hurt. Jesus. I need to get another freaking exercise band to start doing rotator cuff shit. I still don't know how to explain what the hell a rotator cuff is. 125 beats per minute. Fuck yes. Man, this is get this gave me so much trouble. You, you've definitely seen me swearing like a fool to this. Fuck yeah! First try! Alright. 
this is making me feel way more confident about being prepared for October. <sighs> I want to be overly prepared, meaning like I, I want to know this stuff so well, I just go in there and boom, just knock this shit out, be done with it, finish early. We got three full days to record everything. There's a lot of it's going to be, uh, damn right it's a win. <sighs> three full days to record everything, but a lot of it's going to be talking. So yeah, getting getting the music stuff done and just poof, out the way. So the next one, three three three, that's the bar number three thirty three. Ah uh, yes, the Opeth inspired, a Hungarian minor riff. All right, one for, I'm a little nervous about this one too because it's just I've contemplated making it just a bit slower. <laughs> But this seems like a natural speed to do it. But it's not very easy to get to play clean. Having said that, I just nailed a couple other things, so shut up and play it, for Christ's sake. It's also tough to remember. Here's an idea. I got something I've wanted to practice just to see how it would go. I'm gonna do like a seven, seven note pattern, but uh, across sixteenth notes. So it's like, like seven with fours kind of thing. Does that make any sense to you? Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me. Goddamn it. One E and O. One E and a two E and a, so you got your four things per beat, right? So the sixteenth notes: one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And I'm gonna be doing a one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven. Terrible way to end that. That's why. Here we go. That's what I wanted to work on. So I'm not doing any economy picking, alternate picking, nothing but alternate picking. So, yes two-way slanting or two-way string escape motions. I think that's what it's referred to as now. I could go a little bit faster, but time, time permitting. So, thank you to everyone who came in and watched the stream. I'll be back again someday, but I don't know when. Six string guitar with a banjo body, interesting. Yeah, you have to tell me more about it. All right, gotta end the stream. <laughs>